Hello there, I am Giant Grove with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we caught a Growlithe and nicknamed it Blaze. We went to the Hosprout Tower, we got the HM05 Flash from the Sage Master, I guess you could say, the Elder. And uh, we also, off screen, I decided uh, to train all my Pokemon to level 13. So Blaze is now level 13. I believe Blaze didn't learn anything new, it st he still knows, uh, she still knows um, Ember, Bite, and Roar. And then, uh, Hoot Hoot, um, my Oliver, learned Peck at level 11. And then, uh, Megan, my Chikorita, learned Reflect at level 12, I believe. So that's awesome. But other than that, they're just a little bit stronger. So yeah, let's take on the Violet City Pokemon Gym. Let's read that side of the sign, though. Okay, yeah. Violet City Pokemon Gym, Weirder Falconer. Uh, the Elgin Master of Flying Pokemon. Cool. Let's go inside, then. Let's talk to the Vice Giver. Okay, yeah. hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you advice, some advice. Believe me, I, if you, believe me, if you believe a championship dream is, a championship dream can come true, you believe, then listen, I may have missed out that, honestly. The grass type is weak against the flying type, keep that in mind. So yeah, I don't use Chigurita, obviously, in this gym, but that's okay. Uh, Violet City Pokemon Gym, cool. Let's take on these trainers, and this is like, the four patterns shipped like a dollar sign. It's kind of funny. Okay, let me see if you are good enough to face Falconer. Okay, so this is a bug- this is a bird keeper. I almost said bug catcher there. I said bug catcher right there then. But yeah, this is a bird keeper. I think it just has a, has a level 9 Spearow. So this is bug catcher- er, there I go, same bug catcher. Bug- bird keeper A, but yeah, he has one Spearow, it's level 9. And it's female- or it's male apparently, cool. So let's go for the- let's go for the Ember on this thing. Let's see if we can- Take out this thing quickly. It does a little bit over half, so that's good. It's gonna use, it's gonna use pack, okay? Good enough. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So this bear should go down. It does. Awesome. And that's the end of the battle, really. But keep your was defeated. I, this can't be true. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the 216 pocket hours, though. Stick on this next bird keeper. There's only two trainers in the gym, these two bird keepers. The key word is guts. Uh, those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! Okay, so I think this guy has a Pidgey and a Spearow. I think they're both level 7 though, so that's just my guess. Bird keeper Rod would like the battle, okay? So he has a Pidgey. Is it level 7? It's level 7 and male, okay, cool. Let's go for the Ember on this thing. See how much it does. Okay, it puts in the red. Awesome. Cool. Let's finish this thing off with a bite attack. Ready to go, Blaze. You got this. There goes, there goes the Pidgey. Awesome. And Bird Keeper Rod is about to send out another Pidgey because they don't have a, a, a Pidgey and a Spirit. They just have a Pidgey and a Pidgey. Two Pidgeys. Okay, cool. This Pidgey is also level 7 male. Let's go for the Ember on this thing. Hopefully, it'll put down the reds again just like the last one. And it does awesome. Okay, fine. Okay, this pitch is gonna use tackle then. Just 3 HP about th around. Th I think that did 3 HP on Blaze. It went from 33 HP to 30 PP. 30 HP, I should say. Once I, once I didn't see that correctly. Yeah, but the bite finishes off and Blaze gets another 82 experience points. Awesome. Bookkeeper Road was defeated. Gah! Thanks for the six, 1000. Not the 1000. Thanks for the 168 Poké Dollars. Let's take on Faulkner right here, right now. I am Faulkner, the G Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. Um, people say you can equip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the power, the real power of the Magnus, ne the Magnus, the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, we'll see about that, Faulkner. We'll see about that. So Falconer will have two Pokemon, one's a Pidgey level 7, one's a Pidgeot at level 9. And yeah, that's about it really. <laughs> yeah. So this Pidgey is level 7 male, cool. Let's go for the Ember on this thing. Let's see it, let's put it in the reds I hope at least. Yeah, but that's so nice. Let's get Mud Slap on Blaze which is super effective. And it'll lower Blaze's accuracy. Dang it, okay fine, we'll use Bite then. Bite still hits, awesome, that's good. Okay. So who the fuck does about to send a Pidgeot? Okay, would you like to send? Uh, I don't. I do not want to change Pokemon to be honest. So I'll stay in. Okay, let's go for the Ember on this thing. 
I missed, of course. Gust hits though. Oh man, the Spidgeard is level 9 male. Okay, let's go with the Emperor. Right, there we go, it hits that time. Awesome. Maybe we can get a burn on this thing, that'd be pretty cool. Let's yeah, do this. Gust again. How much HP will this do? 6 HP. Okay, we should still be good with Blaze, so I'm gonna keep Blaze in. Use another Emperor, it hits. Awesome. This should put in its red. Okay, yeah. But we might use a healing item, but I'm gonna just go for another Emperor after this. I'm gonna go all here. Emperor hits again. Awesome. And this should take it out. It does. Awesome. Critical. I'll take it. And there we go. Yeah. Falconer was defeated. Awesome. Darn. My dad's cherished for a Pokemon. So they won't even your Pokemon. They're your dad's. Oh well. Okay. All right. Take this. It's the official Pokemon League uh, Zephyr badge. I don't. I still don't know how to pronounce the badge's name. It's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the hundred Pokemon always, Falconer. Okay. Yeah. We get that badge. That's just the Z. Safari badge or something like that. I don't even know. It raises the this badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. We get the TM for uh, um, TM31, which is Mud Slap. So that's pretty cool. We put the Steven put the TM31 in the TM pocket. Uh, by using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you use it. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once, as as of gen generation two. In the later generations, think of generation five and further than that, you can use TMs as much as you want. So yeah, TMs. Uh, TM thirty one contains mud slap. It reduces the, fo uh, the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it's both defensive and offensive. That's awesome. Cool. Thanks. And I probably I probably won't be teaching that to any of my Pokemon honestly, but uh, it's good to have them in my bag at least just to show that I got it and stuff and how to get it. I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, Vault City Pokemon Gym, Weirder Faulkner, Winning Trainer Steven. We got our names on the post. Awesome. Cool. Nice. Professor almost calling. Okay, yeah. Um, hello Steven. We discovered something, uh, about the egg. Uh, my assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Can we, you talk to him? Quick. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> So that's Professor Elm again, so we have to get to the Vault City Pokemon Center. And we actually have to go there to heal a Pokemon anyway, so it's like, kill him two, two birds with one stone, I guess you could say. So here we are in the Pokemon Center, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon first. Yeah, welcome to the Pokemon Center, we heal your Pokemon to perfect health. Uh, shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, of course. Okay, may I see your Pokemon? So we have four, oh, I was about to say, we have four Pokemon, but we only have three Pokemon so far. Three permanent party members, I should say, for right now. Uh, thank you for waiting. Uh, your Pokemon are full healed. We hope to see you again. Nice. Okay, here's the Professor Elm's aide, I guess you could say. Stephen, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take this Pokemon egg? Yes, of course. We received the, po we received the egg. Awesome. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the grows in the egg. Uh, it also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Steven, you're the only person we can really rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg has when that egg hatches. Okay, cool. And he just leaves the Pokemon Center. So if you go to the summary for the Pokemon egg, it actually ha this Pokemon egg will actually hatch into a Togepi at level 5, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's check out stats. It moves around inside something. Uh, so it moves around inside um, sometimes. It must be close to hatching. So it's already kind of close to hatching when you get it, which would be cool. Other than other Pokemon eggs and other later games, you just you have to like have like you have to like do uh, take like a thousand steps for it to hatch or something like that. So it's gonna be a Togepi level five when it hatches. That's pretty cool. We're gonna keep it in our party for now, um, and we'll actually show when it hatches and stuff. And we'll call uh, Professor Elm when uh, it hatches, and we might as well even go back all the way to what all the way to him and show that it hatches and stuff. it hatches and stuff just to uh, keep him pleased I guess and to keep him happy because he's really excited to see what this egg hatches into I believe so that's good so uh, I'll keep Blaze up front I guess and uh, we're gonna head on to the next route now south of uh, Violet City which I forget the number but I know where I'm going now haha <laughs> okay so wait do we want to buy any more items for the road I forget so you have seven potions uh, four antidotes uh, four berries of course um, let's put Switch that with that, okay. Seven potions, four berries, four antidotes, three pearl seals, one awakening, uh, one per per PSN cure berry, which was poison, uh, one bit of berry, X accuracy, escape rope, okay, yeah, I'm gonna sell that, I'm gonna sell the X accuracy and, uh, um, yeah, get a, I think a couple more items that I need or something, I don't know, sell the X accuracy that real quick. 
Okay, cool. So, buy. Let's buy, like, one more potion. Let's buy, like, two more Pokeballs. Uh, antidotes. Let's buy one more antidote because they're cheap. Um, Paralysis. Let's buy two more of those. Awakenings. Let's buy one more of those. We should be good after that. Yeah. That looks good. Nice. Okay. Now we're off to the next route, I guess you could say. So here's a berry tree. Okay, yeah, it's a P PS. I think this this berry cures paralysis. Press berry. Press cure berry. P R Z Q berry. <laughs> yeah, I think that heals paralysis. I could just double check right now, just make sure. Yeah, it heals paralysis. Cool, and it's a, it can be used, you can give it to Pokemon as a health item. Awesome. Now here's about thirty two. Um, here's the ruins of Elf at East Entrance. Uh, I won't be covering this, but uh, I guess I can just short off just for a second. But I won't be like going in depth about it. In depth about in in depth with it I should say in depth there we go but um I think this is where you can get run ins you can do like a puzzle and stuff to uh, get an item or something but I'm just not gonna do it honestly unless there's like a really cool item I'm missing out like if I research it later I might go back to it but other than that as of right now I probably just won't cover it let's talk to this guy he'll give you a good item if you have a grass type Pokemon uh, you have some good Pokemon there it must be uh I'm it must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. It was awesome. Especially Sprout Tower. That was a really good training spot for my Blaze, my Growlithe. Uh, as a souvenir of Violet City, take this. We get, uh, increases the power of grass type moves. We get the Miracle Seed, which I'm going to give to uh, Megan, actually. So, yeah. yeah your, your experiences in Violet City should be useful for your journey. That is true. Thanks. Thank you very much. So let's uh, give that miracle seed to uh, Megan. Actually, yeah, we gave Megan. We told Megan to hold that miracle seed. Awesome. So yeah, here's some wild grass. Okay, that was a rat tail that gave uh, Blaze 40 experience after we defeated it. So that's pretty cool. Here's a trainer. I believe he has a Nidoran. Well, no, he has. I think he, has, he definitely has like an Ekans, or I know he definitely has a Rattub. He might also have an Ekans too. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Oh, I do have one gym badge. I'm not actually show that after the battle because I forgot to right after the after I beat the gym. I'm gonna show that my trainer card again. Uh, right after this battle, okay, youngster Albert sent out a Rattub. Cool, that's cool. This so Rattub's level six in male. Let's go for the Emperor on this thing. Let's see here. Yeah, 1k, awesome. I'll take it. Blaze is level 14, awesome. Zubat, okay. We'll switch to Oliver then. Next to Albert, it's Zubat, that's pretty cool, I guess. Zubat's level 8 and uh, male, I guess, that's cool. Let's go for the peck on this thing. Does about half, awesome. So Leech Life is not going to be effective on Oliver because Oliver is half Flying type, but only just 1 HP. But it does get 1 HP back. So yeah. This is what goes down after the second pack. Awesome. Cool. Next job was defeated. Awesome. You're strong. Thanks, man. Thanks for 120 Poké Dollars. So right here, you need Cut to um, get, uh, get past this area, get past this bush that's blocking the area. So it kind of stinks. So you have to move on, honestly. I think right over here is a repel in the grass. You see right there, that's a repel, probably. I'm like 90% sure that's a repel. So I'm gonna switch Megan with, uh, Blaze with Megan, and then I'm gonna switch Oliver with Megan. So yeah. Nice. Here's a repel, which, uh, repels, um, Pokemon, uh, the, the level right below your Pokemon, first Pokemon in your party. So for example, I'll show you right here. So for example, uh, Oliver is level 13, so if I use a repel, and Oliver is my first, obviously my first in my party, um, in that case, then, uh, uh, it'll repel while Pokemon tw level 12 and below, um, but if it's level 13, it'll match Oliver's level and still be part of wall encounters, even with a repel in effect. So hopefully that makes sense, like, it'll repel Pokemon that are, uh, the level below your your first Pokemon in your party, and uh, that level and below, for example, like as I said, the Pokemon at level 12 or below will be repelled from the repel when it's in effect. 
So yeah, I need an animal Pokemon there, so that's awesome. Let's take on this person. It's a picnic, I believe. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, you know, part in battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. Okay, so this picnicker, I believe, she has a Nidoran female. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, here's picnic Liz. Cool. She's a Nidoran female. Cool. Nice. Let's go for the, um, pack on this thing. This Nidoran is level- Nidoran female is level 9 and female. <laughs> awesome. So that tackle is super effective, darn it. Okay. Okay, one more pack should do it. Oh, no growl. Now that it might change, you know, it might take two more packs for this Nidoran to go down, but I could be wrong. Okay, yeah, one more pack. Awesome, cool. Nice. Picnic always was defeated. Awesome. Oh, sorry, I skipped to your dog. Something about being angry and something, I don't know. Something, I'm sorry that you're angry. Expect 100 day poker dollars, though. I believe that's how much he gave us. Here's, an, here's a pick camper, I believe. He has a Nuran male, so that's pretty cool. That glance is intriguing. Thanks. Here's camper, uh, that's a camper actually, Roland, okay. So here's a Nerdman male, cool. It's level 9 male, okay, cool. Let's go for the peck on this thing. Okay, let's go for another peck. A critical battle, I'll take it, awesome. Camper Roland was defeated. Awesome. Hmm, that is disappointing. I'm sorry, man. Looks for 100 day pocket always. Here you can find Wooper during the m day and morning, and maybe and even at the night, probably. I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty cool. Makes a great water type Pokemon. I won't be using Wooper on my team. I'll be using a, a different water type. So yeah. Switched um, over with Megan because there's a lot of fishermen coming up soon. So yeah. Cool, here's a lot of fishmen right here. There's two, all two of them actually. My Pokemon freshly caught. Cool. Nice, okay. Fisherman Henry would like to battle. It wants to battle. Cool. So that Poliwag, okay. Let's go for the Razor Reef on this thing. It's gonna use Hypnosis. Ah, oh, man. Megan fell asleep. How many awakenings do I have? I have like two, right? Two awakenings. Okay, I'll, I'll use one on Megan. Okay, yeah, this Pog's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I just one HP on Megan. Good, because uh, Megan's uh, a pure grass type, so it resists um, water gun because it's uh, not water gun, but bubble because it's a water type move. Razor Leaf hits that time because uh, Megan didn't fall asleep because of hypnosis. Because hypnosis failed the second time she, the the Poliwag tried to use, it, so that's good. And then it's gonna up. Uh, Henry's gonna eat Fisherman Henry's gonna send another Poliwag. Okay, fine. Fine, that's fine with me. No, are you kidding me? Hypnosis? Aye, aye, aye. Might as well use my other, my other awakening. Jeez. Because I don't want to like spend like at least two or three turns trying, w trying to get uh, Megan to you know wake up again. So, uh, yeah. How is this thing faster than Megan? It's, level, it's like with five levels higher than it. Megan's five levels higher than it. But then again, Polyogs might be faster than Chikoritas. I don't know, but I thought Chikoritas would be pretty decently fast. Okay, cool. The Yes, the hypnosis again didn't affect uh, Megan the second time. Once again, awesome. The ways of takes it out critical. Awesome, I'll take it. And that's the end of the battle. Splash, <laughs> thanks for the 320 Poké Dollars. Okay, yeah. Whoa, you made me lose that fish. I'm sorry. Kind of just wanted to bow to you. Okay, this guy has four Pokemon. Of course, like three of them are probably gonna be Magic Cups, honestly. This Magic Cups level five. I'm gonna go for the Razor Leaf anyway. It's gonna be super effective. Let's see if this takes out one hit. It does. Awesome. Nice. Okay, nice. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. This Magic Cup's also level 5 in male. Cool. Nice, okay. Okay, there's another Magic Carp. This one's probably level 15 though. 
just to switch it up. This one has, this one actually has tackle because it's my car, my magic carpet knows when it's tackle level 15. Splash, but nothing happened. Okay, whatever. This magic carpet's level 15 male, so hopefully we can take it out one way That'd be pretty cool. It does. Awesome. Could quit. I'll take it. And Megan's not level 14. Awesome. Magic carp. Okay, I, he has four magic carps. Wow. Jeez, like this magic carp is level five. Okay, so back to using just where we found a level five magic carp. Apparently, I'll take it though. Nice. Okay. Fisherman Justin was if you're awesome. Sploosh, I think is what she said. Thanks for the two hundred pocket dollars. Now this person has a level ten goldine, I believe, but he's also a fisherman. I'm really good at both fishing and Pokemon. I'm not about to lose to any kid. We'll see about that. I have three Pokemon that are at least level 13 and higher, and then you have uh, one Pokemon that's level 10, and it's a Goldeen. And it looks like I have the type advantage though. Haha. <laughs> yes, Goldeen's level 10 in male. Okay, cool. Let's go for the Razor Leaf on this thing. It's gonna be super effective, and it takes someone here. Awesome. Oh, almost level 15, Megan Go is awesome. Almost, at least. Tch, I tried to rush things. Huss, <laughs> whatever. Thanks for a bunch of Poké Dollars, though. I'm gonna keep Megan up front because this uh, guy has a Whooper. I think this is a Camper. So I found some good Pokémon in the grass. I think it'll do f it for me. I think that's- a, I think I miss- I may misread that, honestly, but I could be wrong. Here's a youngster, okay, not a camper, but a youngster. Youngster, uh, Gordon, sent out Wooper. Now, the thing with Wooper is, um, Wooper is water ground type, and this Wooper is level 10 in male. And it's, uh, it doesn't have any weaknesses except for grass, but it's four times weak to grass type Pokemon, grass type moves, because, uh, I should say grass type moves. Because, uh, it's water, which water is super, uh, Grass is super effective against water, and ground is also, uh, grass is also super effective against ground. So it's four times weaker to grass type Pokemon, so this Wooper is gonna go downtown. And yeah, it takes it in one hit, awesome. So close to level 15, Megan goes. So close. Darn, I thought you, I, I could win. Like, so 160 Poké Dollars. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna grab this item over here. I think it's Great Ball. Yeah, that's right. Cool Great Ball. I think I covered everything on this route so far. Let me see if I can just backtrack a little bit. I think that's. Let me just see real quick. Ah. Okay, with that, uh, making good level 15 and gained 84 experience points for uh, beating that uh, Bell Sprout. Trying to learn poison powder, okay, but making him more than before. Is there any to make him for poison powder? Yes. Which we should we've got to? Let's get rid of him, Growl. One, two, and poof. Uh, Megan forgot Growl, and Megan learned poison powder, yay. Okay, cool. Yeah, we covered everything on this route because it just backs up to that guy with the um, Nidoran male. See if I can do this without running into Pokemon. Ah, oh, shoot, I was wrong. Ah! Okay, Megan defeated that Ekans pretty good, pretty well, because it only took two tackles. Hey, how would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke tail for for you right now? Just one million Poké Dollars. I think that's a joke, because you can only have like 999,999 Poké Dollars in the game. So uh, they made that joke about saying, hey, uh, like I'm a dollar short if I have max money. <laughs> yeah, you want this? No, I think eating Slowpoke tail is wrong. No. You don't want it then? Scram! Shoo! Okay, so this is a hidden item. I think it's another Great Ball, so we have two Great Balls now. So that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Nice. So yeah, let's check our Balls pocket for, um, just to see. Um, we have, two, we have seven Pokeballs right now and two Great Balls, so that's pretty cool. Also, I'm gonna switch up my Pokemon. Let's switch Oliver with Megan. And Megan with Blaze. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. I'm gonna go heal up real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here is our last trainer of the video, actually. It's a uh, bird keeper. That badge from Violet City. Oh man, I, I keep on forgetting to show it off. I'll show it after, after this battle. Uh, sorry guys, I just forgot again. Wow. You beat Falconer? Yes, I did. I beat Falconer in this part, actually, I believe. At the beginning of this video. <laughs> awesome. Here's bird keeper Peter. Um, he sent out Pidgey. Okay, this Pidgey is level... This Pidgey is level 6 in male. Cool. That's awesome, I guess. 
Let's go for the peck attack on this thing. There we go. It puts in the red. Awesome. Okay, yeah. He's he's gonna send he's gonna send another Pidgey. Okay, cool. And the deep yellow. I can I'll take that at least. Okay, let's go for another peck. There we go. Okay, yep. Alvar is almost level 14. Awesome. It's about his Spiro. Okay, so he has two pitches of Spiro. So this pit this Spiro is level it's level eight in male. Okay, cool. Let's go for another peck on this thing. Or, and not, let's use another peck on the Spiro. Or use continue to use spec but peck but on the Spiro, I should say. There we go, nice. Oh, there's another 14, awesome. We defeat Bird Keeper Peter. Nice. I know what the weaknesses are. My weaknesses are. Thanks for 192 Pokedoms. Well, let's see if you know. So here is um, Union Cave. It's ahead. So I'm going to heal my Pokemon again. And then I'm going to show off my badges or my training card again. I'm going to put make it up to them because like, this, this cave has like Onyxes and Geodudes as well. I, well, Pokemon along with like Sanchers and stuff. So I'll be right back. I'm going to heal my Pokemon real quick again. Okay. Now, let me show that training card off. Okay. So here we go. Our play time is, t uh, I guess, 10 hours so far. Is it 10 minutes or... Can't be ten minutes, honestly. I can think it's ten hours now. So ten hours and four seven minutes, I think. Um, it's we have our ID number again as well. We don't have to be the ID number actually right now. Actually, right now, because we have three thousand nine hundred forty-three pocket hours. We a Pokedex is just three. We caught a Hoot Hoot. A we we have had a Stardust uh, Chikorita, and then we've also caught a Growlithe. So yeah. Badges, uh, we just have the first, our only badge from Falconer, it's the Zephyr badge, or however you want to pronounce it, I can't even pronounce it to this day, honestly, correctly. I want to say just magically said it correctly right there. But I like how it does like the little animation of like spinning around, it's pretty cool, it looks like wings. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, there's that. So in the next part, so this has been the Pokemon Crystal uh, Walk to Get Part, next part we'll take on the Union Cave, make it to Azalea Town, and maybe even do more after that. So yeah. Yeah, Azalea Town, Azalea Town, Azalea Town, Azalea Town. I think I always pronounce it Azalea Town for some reason, or Azalea Town, or Azalea, Azalea Town. I don't think that's a correct pronunciation, but that's always how I pronounced it. So yeah, if we get, we're gonna definitely get there, but we can maybe do more if time allows, you know. Probably take on the gym or something. I don't know if we can get to that, but we'll see. So yeah, this has been go again. I would like to have a chicken goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time. Put one crystal walkthrough guide.